Women in Islam are like a diamonds and Allah created these rules to protect them. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Julia and my Muslim name is Aisil. Uh, I'm from Russia and I'm converted to Islam from six months, alhamdulillah. And I'm ha very happy for that. My lifestyle changed after Islam. Uh, in best part, I can say, because um, I start believing God and this belief bring me power and anything I ask from Allah. Uh, by time, <laughs> Allah give it to me and I'm very thankful. And um, inshallah, all people to feel these feelings. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين I see marriage in Islam of course in perfect way because it's perfect system from Allah for any couple woman first of all woman in Islam is protected like a diamond it gives protection from any ways uh, even before marriage Men must do a lot of things for marry a woman. And woman must come from, with small bag of clothes to her husband and he must take her with all his heart. So, and also protected, if something happened bad in this life, also Islam give protection after divorce, uh, after um, uh, any something bad happen. You know, in Islam, uh, husband's rights are much more, uh, how, how could I tell you, easy than a woman. And for women, it's more uh, easy to be a wife than to be a husband. Uh, because uh, husband have a lot of obligation in front of her, his wife. But woman must just be his right hand, listen to him, and be next to his heart, of course, support him. And be a good mother and a good wife. Prophet Muhammad uh, was very, very kind to his wives. And even when his wife Aisha wanted to carry a camel, he was like a stairs for her. He stayed on his knees to get her up on the camel. It was not a shame for him. It was not a proud. And if you read about uh, how he treat his wives at home and how he helps them, it's a very big, big example for our men nowadays to follow these rules, what Prophet Muhammad said to us, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Naima, a British convert of whom the British newspaper, the Daily Telegraph, wrote, that Muslim woman could be happier than you. She is also the chief editor of Sisters magazine, as well as a prize-winning author of many books, including the popular From My Sister's Lips. She told me that when she was still searching, she went to an evangelical Christian church, attended the ceremony, and then wanted to know more. Go back to the Quran. Go back to the Qur'an and go back to the example of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. For me, I came from a feminist background, I was raised pretty much in a feminist household. And it was the personage of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, his manner, the way he was with wives, children, uh, c companions, anybody else around him. It was his personage more than anything else that made me see the beauty of Islam. You've got a prophet who used to help his wives in the house. You've got a prophet who used to serve himself, who used to mend his own shoes, who used to say when he was asked, who do you love from amongst the people? He would say his wife's name before anybody else's name. He was a feminist. If anybody was a feminist, the prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, according to my definition, he was the ultimate feminist. In the last sermon Prophet Muhammad gave before he died, he mentioned that um, men should treat women kindly and that they should treat them well because women are their partners and their helpers. And that was his last sermon before he died. That was the last message he was ever going to give anyone. And that was part of his message that you must treat women kindly. And so obviously that's a very big part of religion if that's in his last sermon, that's the last message he'll ever give the Muslims who are alive then. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, set a standard of helping his wives in the kitchen. Uh, modern Muslim husbands also help their wives in day-to-day -day lives.